okay so this is uh, part number two of this uh, video series is uh, how to create the environment for this rendering this is the rendering we use for the material but you can use any exterior so we did all the materials if you don't uh, if you didn't see the first movie, video I'll put a link on the description okay so options this is the O options this is all the options of the environment and the camera and everything else so first of all and the, the new v-ray you got here this is very useful you use it all the time it's very good you can choose a camera a preset camera and this is very good and uh, change some of the settings and makes it easier life so for our shot we'll take exterior but if you have interior you choose here so we'll choose exterior and then you have different options how quality you want the image so I try to do when I test I do like on test but I try to do very quality because I like it to have a very um, very good um, materials and everything so I'll just do uh, exterior very high quality and I'll just mark it so we got those changes in here now we're not going to go over uh, everything we're going to go whatever is uh, we need for this model so the first thing we're going to talk about is the camera basically what you want to know is if you shooting interior you want a shutter speed smaller and that because you want to have uh, more light going in so you take one second and you divide it 300 so it's pretty fast but if you do like 30 it's slower and like an interior shot if you don't have um, if you don't have a lot of light it will, it will make the picture um, brighter this is to make the here if you wanna if you put the values up you get the camera more angle we'll just keep it like that and this is for the camera so we're not going to change anything on the camera just quick talk okay next is the environment and environment this is uh, where you can can control the Sun and everything now the Sun and V-Ray works by the Sun and SketchUp so you can change here or if you want more advanced you can go to window and go to shadows and then you can put like a location in the world and what time and what everything so basically um, we we choose this uh, this Sun system but like if you want a little bit I don't know darker or something like that you want more shadows you want to see more shadows we'll keep it like that and uh, so this is the sky skylight Sun so this is the Sun we'll keep it like that even though that uh, some some rendering we put here uh, uh, HDRI to create the light but in this case we won't but I'll show what I mean by HDRI and the background so there is like kind of a you can put like a, a, a image okay so this is some free images HDRI that I got and I just will open it with Photoshop to show what is HDRI but basically HDRI it's a tile um, tiled um, environment so you see it starts here and it ends here but if you change it it will still you know turn around and you get the whole environment also the sky so basically what it does it wraps around the world around the world so if I just choose the HDRI I put it here and this is very important you need to go down and change it to environment the UV you need to change to environment when you change it to environment it will be in spherical this is good now if we render you have instead of having this Photoshop um, sketch up um, gray tones you have like the picture that we selected this this one now the thing with it is usually it's very um, very light 
So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put it up to five. Okay, and this is for the environment. Now um, we're not going to change since we change it already here. We change the preset so we get uh, uh, most of it change. Output I usually render on 1920 by 8 by 1080, but whatever you prefer to render. So this is this and. Um, in, in self-illumination um, this is the ambient occlusion the ambient occlusion it's some uh, noise or some dirt that comes on the corners where you have where you have two faces meet up so it gives you like a line of dirt so this is the model I model with uh, a very high value of ambient occlusion with no light so you can see so um, basically um you put ambient occlusion so amount it's up to you but you can play around with it this is environment uh, out exterior so you can put a little bit higher and subdivision i put 25 radius is how far out from the edge you want it to go so we will keep it on 15 okay 15 inch inch other than that we're um not going to change another thing that i like to add is on on the the channels i used to add, i like to add the material id because then when i use on photoshop um it's easier to select with it so all you need to do is to make it like bluish you see if you want another and this is what we got okay so i'll render now and we'll see the result okay so our first rendering is ready now I can see the five value for the background is too bright I lose some detail here and I see also that the Sun in the image you how you see here the Sun where the white and where the light comes from is right in the back and our sun comes like in our left leftish because ha we have the shadows casting this way so we need to change that and just a uh, note if you press here if you save all channels to save here is to save this image and to save all channels you get all those channels and this is the alpha channel and this is um what i was talking about the material ID so in Photoshop you can select all the reds then you can edit one color in a time okay so let me let's make the changes okay so in the environment let's read let's put it down for three and a half something like that and we want to move the map so in order to move the map it's this value so hor horizontal if you want if you want to you move it on the horizontal so the way it works basically if we look on on it like this on the top view so we have like a circle with uh, we like in the, in the middle of a sphere with our texture now um, we are in the middle of the sphere so if we want to shift it around you go here and then you put how much degrees you want to shift it so basically it was zero and we wanted to shift it um, with clockwise we want to shift it like 270 something like that 270 something you can play around with it and I found this value works for this project so um, we'll see the let's render and see the result okay so this is the final result it's pretty it's nice it has some uh, um, blue nice sky we have uh, some trees on the reflection and we can put a bet in the background some whatever we want um, this will be in a Photoshop uh, we'll do it uh, just uh, some some uh, you want to put some uh, uh, what's it called uh, some color corrections you can do it even here you can uh, for example twist uh, you know twist the colors 
um, play with the levels a little bit and um, that's about it so this will be um, this for this uh, this tutorial this is for any project you have exterior those um, settings are good and uh, we'll see you in the next episode thank you and please please like and subscribe